What happens if you've made a mistake in one of your past bank reconciliations or the beginning balance of your bank reconciliation is off? How do you fix this? This is one of the most common questions that I get. Can I undo a reconciliation? How do I fix a beginning balance? What happens if I marked a transaction as cleared when it shouldn't have? What if a transaction gets deleted? And in this video, I'm going to address this. Welcome back to another QuickBooks training tutorial. My name is AJ Stockwell. I'm a licensed CPA. If you've not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. This video is going to build off of the last three videos that I recorded. So if you haven't already watched those, make sure that you watch them to become familiar with the concepts that I'm talking about in this video. I'll link them in the description below. Let's go right over to QuickBooks and talk about what our problem is. So if you recall in the bank reconciliation video, I reconciled this bank account for the month of August. We have this $5,000 deposit that was cleared on the reconciliation. But if I look at my balance sheet and I look at the undeposited funds account, or if I go to new transaction and bank deposit, I see that there's a $5,000 payment from a customer on that same date that is not yet recorded as deposited. This is where that conflict comes into place that I was talking about in the undeposited funds video. We have $5,000 here that we know has been deposited, but QuickBooks says it isn't deposited. And instead, we have another $5,000 deposit here. So let's go ahead and click into this deposit. When I click into here, I see that this deposit was posted directly to sales. So if this customer's original invoice was posting $5,000 to sales, and then we posted the second deposit $5,000 to sales, then we are duplicating that revenue and we're posting $10,000 of sales. Now, one quick way to fix this would be simply to delete this row and select this payment. And this is while I'm editing that bank deposit. Now the deposit is still set to $5,000 and we can save and close. That would be a quick way to fix this without messing up the reconciliation. But let's say that the issue is a little bit more nuanced than that and this deposit just has to be deleted. Or maybe you already ended up with a deleted transaction. So what I'm going to do is delete this deposit because we know that it was incorrect. QuickBooks will warn us that it was reconciled and that it might throw off our reconciliation, but I'm gonna delete it anyway. Now what we see is that it's still listed here, but it's not a link. You can see that this is more of a highlighting cursor, and that's because QuickBooks will preserve the original reconciliation report. So these other two deposits are still links, but this one's not. Now if we scroll to the top, we see that there is this reconciliation change report and it tells us that something happened to the reconciliation. And in this case, what that is, is that this $5,000 deposit was deleted. If we go back to the reconciliation because we want to reconcile our account for the month of September, we see that QuickBooks is warning us that it's not ready to reconcile yet because it's off by $5,000. If we click this link, it'll again show us that there was this deposit for $5,000 that was deleted. Now, what we need to do here is record that payment as deposited and then get it cleared in the reconciliation. In QuickBooks Online, only accountant users can actually undo a reconciliation. So I'm logged in right now as an admin on this account, but I don't have an option to undo the reconciliation and then redo it. So what we have to do is actually mark this transaction as reconciled outside of the reconciliation tool. But first we need to record it as deposited. So I'll go to new deposit, choose the payment, set the date, confirm that the amount is correct, and then I'll go ahead and save and close. Now we need to mark that transaction as cleared because just because we've recorded it does not mean that it has actually been marked as reconciled. If we go to the reconciliation tool, you can see that we're still $5,000 off. To do this, 
we want to go to that bank account's register. So we go to our chart of accounts and then we click view register. Now we find the deposit that we just recorded, which is right here. And then this column indicates the cleared status of transactions. So R stands for reconciled. A C, and none of these are gonna have C, I don't think, but a C would indicate that it has been tentatively cleared. So maybe you've started a reconciliation and marked it off as cleared, but you haven't finalized the reconciliation. This two green box icon means that we have added the transaction from bank feeds. Now what we wanna do is edit this reconciliation status to R because this transaction should have been on a previous reconciliation. So all we have to do is click into the transaction. We don't even have to edit it. In fact, I think if we pull it up to edit it, we won't be able to change the cleared status. So we just do it right from the register. We set this to R and then we save. And then QuickBooks warns us that we shouldn't manually mark transactions as reconciled, but we know that we're doing this to fix a beginning balance issue. So I'll go ahead and save it. And now when we go to the reconciliation window, we see that it is no longer giving us that warning and our beginning balance is back to being correct. Before it was $5,000 less, it was $7,000.52. Now it's back up to the $12,000. This is the process for adding back a transaction that may have been deleted or changed to your reconciliation. This process can also be done with payments. So if we had a mistaken payment or somehow a payment had been deleted, what we would do is go back, find the payment on the register and mark it as reconciled. The other thing that we could have done, I'll go back to the chart of accounts in the register. We could have left this as unreconciled. And then when we're looking at the reconciliation, we know that this balance is $5,000 off, but we know that we will be clearing a $5,000 deposit. So let's say, the ending balance ended up being $10,000 at the end of September, and we start reconciling. The first thing that we would do is mark our $5,000 deposit as cleared. And now you can see that that's at least starting us at the right balance to go ahead and continue reconciling. Between these two methods, I personally would rather just mark the transaction as reconciled from the register. That way, this reconciliation would start with a correct beginning balance, and we could look at the amount of the payments and the deposits and make sure that they are matching the bank statement. That's all I've got for this video. Thank you for watching. If this was helpful, go ahead and give it a like or share it with someone that you think it could help. If you've run into other QuickBooks issues or reconciliation issues, describe them down in the comments and I might make a video about them.